gets it to 15. Come on, boy. Take it easy, kid. You ain't got so long to wait. Hey, Four. What's your name? Now, what's your name, Four? Who, me? Yeah, your name. My na name is Richard. Richard Walters. Yeah. I read about you in the paper. Yeah. Mears. My name's John Mears, cell three. Tom Damoro, cell eight. Red Kirby, cell seven. Vince Jackson, cell six. Fred Mayer, cell five. Jimmy Martin, cell two. Drake, Death House Guard. Oh! What's that? That's Werner in cell one. He blew his stack, so they gave him a stay. Oh! Why don't they take him out of here? No, oh, they're trying to drive us all nuts. They have to keep him here till the Lunacy Commission makes a report. Sometimes it takes two, three months. Thinks he's some sort of a poet. Don't let him get to you, kid. Hope we don't stop that jabbering about the chair tonight. I bet he does. He always does when somebody's gonna burn. Burn? Who's, who's, who's gonna burn? Number two, Martin. Number two's gonna burn tonight. Yeah, you got here just in time to watch the big parade, kid. To watch number two go through that little door. Now, you want to watch it very carefully, because on the 15th, you're going to be in the big parade. Right through that door. Hey, Drake. Yeah? Come here. Hmm. What do you want? I'm gonna see you burn, Mears. in the midnight special for number two. Play with that thing all day, don't they? Don't they think we got no nerves? The most nervous people in the world. Get out of that room. Get out! Cut it out, ain't it bad enough, huh? The death house, when they come and go, they linger just a little time before they give you the electric chair. Sentence for some awful crime. I've seen them come, I've Please seen them it. go, I've heard the death warrants read. For God's sake, give me have a heart, will you? Please, Eddie, huh? Another man is dead! Somebody stop him, please. I Somebody stop him, huh? The that sends I like it. You think you would! Keep it up, Werner! It's pretty! Shut him up over there! Shut up, Werner! Come out, Betty! I'll cut it off. Running through my breast. Don't listen to him, kid! I'm the warden. Shut Let up over there! Let that cuckoo up. Places the sponge on your head. 
then pulls the lever of injustice. In one minute, you're dead. Please, please. I've come to give you Holy Communion. Kneel, Jimmy. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Read the prayer, Jimmy. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of thy Holy Spirit. <laughs> that we be prepared. magnify thy holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord have mercy on us. Christ have mercy on us. Lord have mercy on us. What time is it? You have a few minutes more. Now repeat after me. O oh God, who has saved me and forgiven me. O oh God, who has saved me and forgiven me. Hear my supplications. Hear my supplications. And take me under thy eternal keeping. And take me unto thy eternal keeping. Amen. Amen. Domine non sum dignus ot in tres sub tectum meum, sed tantum dic verbo, et san abito anima mea. Domine non sum dignus ot in tres sub tectum meum, sed tantum dic verbo et anima mea. Domine non sum dignus ot in tres sub tectum meum, sed tantum dic verbo, et san abito anima mea. Corpus Domini Nostri Jesus Christi custodiat animam tuam in vitam eternam. Now, Jim Martin, let us pray. Benedictio Dei Omnipotentis, Patris et Fili et Spiritus Sancti, descendat super te et maniat semper. Amen. Amen. Hey, 
Jack. Give me a light, will you? I thought sure I'd get another stay. Oh. Drake, let me out with the boys, will you? I, I want to say goodbye to them. I can't. You know, it's funny, I, I never had much to do with electricity before. Wonder what it's like. Wonder if a guy knows anything. Hey, Muse. Yeah, Jimmy. You think it'll take long? You'll never know what hits you. Be over just like that. Say goodbye to the boys first. Please. Please. Okay. Eddie? So long, Eddie. I, I don't know which one of us is better off. I, if you should see Louie there, would you tell him? I, I will. I will, Eddie. Mears? Jimmy! Get me out, kid! I will, Mears. So long, Mears. So long, Jim! Hey, hey, look, they split my pants. I guess that's the new style. How do you like it, huh? Glad I've met you, Wallace. Yeah. Freddy, Freddy, Freddy. I hope you get that stay, Freddy. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> Not, I'll see you soon. So long, Jackson. Goodbye. I hope my prayer's done you some good. Could you be? Come on. Stand right up. I will. Good. I will. So long, Demora. Demora. That means love in Italian. Love. So long, kid. <laughs> hey, Mears! They can't get the door open. What do you think about that, huh? Why don't you open the door for them? <laughs> I'd stay here till next Christmas before I'd open that. guy who ever sits in this rotten chair.
Two. Rodriguez. DJ? Better get used to answering by numbers. Names don't mean much in here. I learn. Got an extra smoke on you, kid? Yeah. Sure. Thanks. Hey, Drake. Drake. I'll get you in the end. Want to raise the bet? No. One pack of cigarettes is enough. Well, look -a here. Look -a here. King me. thinking. Well, don't. You know that stay? Seems that they would have given it to me by now if they were going to. Oh, you never know. Sometimes it comes at the last minute the way mine did. Ah, uh, they like to keep you guessing. Your old lady spoke to the prison board, didn't she? Yeah. Funny I haven't heard from her. You'll hear from her, all right. I wish my mother was alive. Benedictione a mia madre morto. Maybe if you had the priest, why are the governor? He might give you a stay to have you examined by the lunacy commission. I did that, Red. Well? Well. Home? Maybe I ought to start yelling home. It's hard to believe. Only five more days. Seems like I never even began to live. You know, Mears, I always wanted to travel, to see everything, see the world. I never had the chance. And I uh, always wanted to study, you know, learn things. Seems like I never had the time. I started working when I was 15. I had to quit school when my father died, and I've been working ever since. I finally get a good job, a trade. I could have been married, could have had kids, everything. There's a lot we all wanted to do, kid. dream about them all day long. All sizes, all shapes. With pretty colored dresses, smelling of perfume. The figures bouncing when they walk. 
give anything just to see another woman. I remember one girl. I met her on the beach one summer, me and a couple of friends. She was with some girlfriends. She had long black hair and dark flashing eyes and the figure. Huh. Everything was so round and soft and nice. I took one look at her, one look. And she looked at me. And we knew right away we had to have each other. You know how it is sometimes. You just know. I took her for a ride that night. We parked in the woods. She came into my arms. Shut up, will you? Bad enough without you talking about it. Quiet! A three. Yeah. I don't like him. The man I killed, he was very much like that. Possible. Ah, uh, you'll get that stay yet for. Too late now, Red. You'll get that stay for. You'll get it. Just keep right on praying. I'm praying. No use. Looks like I'm I'm not being heard. Oh, it'll come at the last minute. You'll see, just like Kirby's. Two hours. Two hours. Well, you know, I was worse at my trial than I am now. I, I lost 15 and a half pounds while the case was in court. Hey, Miss. I guess I want to shave my head. Should I let him? That fellow Martin, who went the night you came in, he didn't let him. Yeah, you got to give that Martin credit. He had nerve, all right. The way he was saying goodbye to everybody. Yeah, and how about pulling that crack about waiting for Christmas when the door was stuck? Yeah. He wasn't scared to go. Uh, he had nerve. He had nerve! He was so scared he couldn't walk straight. I can hear his knees banging all the way over here. Listen, nobody has nerve when they walk through that little door. Nobody! Nerve! Ha! Red, you've seen them bombing up their guts on their way out, haven't you? Yeah, I sure have. They'd examine half the men before they pull that switch, they'd find they could save their current. Stupid! W will you, Mears? Please. I'm sorry for it. I forgot. Hey, Warren. Here's the warden's brother-in-law. Hey, looks like he got a telegram. Maybe it's a state. says for you too. Huh? What did you say? You heard me. No stay. Did you hear what he said, you guys? Did you hear? Why don't you guys answer me? 
Don't listen to him, Four. He's just trying to scare you. Yeah, you don't know everything. I know one thing. You'll burn, all right. Tonight, that's for sure. Callahan, your mother must bark. Did you hear what I said? No! That was a telegram from some county sheriff and a friend wanting to see my execution. God, let him in. Keep him out, for. You heard what I said, I told him. I told, I told him. This is Principal Keeper Callahan. Yeah, send supper down to number four. Right. Warden speaking. Stan, I've sent supper down to number four. I'll be in the guard room when you come down. All right, Pat. Have uh, Petty, Harris, and O'Flaherty stand by with you. Right. Take this to Principal Keeper Callahan in the guard room of the death house. Yes, sir. What time is it, somebody? Hey, man. What time is it? It's early, kid. Yeah? How early? It's about 9.30. Don't worry, you got plenty of time. You'll get that stay. Hey, Mears, I got a couple of packs of cigarettes. You want them, Mears? No, no, you... You keep them for yourself. Y you'll smoke them tomorrow, huh? I hope so. I sure hope so. You know? I once heard... that when a man is about to die... He would give anything to live, just for one more minute. Ramirez? Ramirez? Yeah. You know, you're right, you're right about the chair. My stomach starting to turn over. It gets worse, kid. I know. Begins to tighten up like a vice. I'd like to be someplace else now. You've been someplace else if you hadn't got that stay. Uh, don't I know it? Hash that camera. Huh? his head. Nothing doing. The warden said we don't have to shave his head. Don't say I didn't warn you, Four. It takes twice as much juice if your head ain't shaved. Don't worry about it. Okay. 
You're the one that's going to burn, not me. What time is it? 25 to 10. All right, well, it's on your feet. Not much time. I hate to go. I never knew I hated anything so much in all my life. Uh, this whole life ain't such a good place anyway, kid. Maybe there is a better place somewhere. There sure ought to be. Can't stop thinking about my girl Elaine. Elaine? That's a pretty name. Elaine, the fair. Elaine, the lovable. Elaine, the lily maid of Astolat. Shut up, Eddie. Leave my lawn red. I like it. I remember it from school. King Arthur and his knights. I, in her chamber, up in a tower to the east, Guarded the sacred shields of Lancelot. Go on, Eddie. Go on. Which, which first she placed, placed, placed. Which first she placed in morning's earliest ray so that it might strike her and, and awake her with the gleam. Nice, huh? G. Red, you were lucky getting that 30-day stay. Seems like I ought to get just one. Just one. Four. If it was possible for me to do it, I'd give you half of mine. And we'd both have 15 days each. I wish I could do it. You wouldn't fool me, would you, Red? This is not the time to be doing that. Of course it. There's no way I can prove it to you. I can see why you find it hard to believe. Just the same. I would do it. I only wish it was possible. I wish you could, Red. That is, if, if you're not kidding me. He means it for it. Thanks, Red. Thanks. Death warrant, Richard Walters. I don't want to hear it. You got to hear it. It's the rule. I'm sick of the rule. The Stanley F. Stone Warden State Prison. You are hereby ordered to execute Richard Walters, convicted of first degree murder in the manner provided by law on the 15th day of October. At such a time, you shall determine within the walls of your said prison, pursuant to the orders of this court, made and provided James C. Griswold, judge presiding. That's that. Callahan. Yeah? 
I want to send a message to my mother and my girl. Callahan, you gotta let him do it. It's the rule. You shut up. I'll go to the guard room and get a pad so I can take down your exact last words. I'll see you inside when you're through. Here's your supper for. Here you are, my boy. I, uh, I put a shot of whiskey in the coffee. Thanks. What'd you order for? Sirloin steak, baked potato, bread and butter, jam. Um, mushroom soup. That ought to be plenty. I'm hungry. I've got one last chance to eat, I'm gonna take it. How'd you come to think of mushroom soup? Is it canned? Oh, no. Sure wish I had some. You get it, man. They'll give you anything you ask for. Any reasonable request you make will not be refused you. What time is it? 45 minutes left. You got time, you'll get that steak in. What if I shouldn't? But what if I shouldn't? You'll get it. But what if I shouldn't? Kirby got his, you'll get yours. You're no exception. Stick. Stick with me, guys. Hey, Six. Tell, tell me, tell me about that, uh, that funny story about the, uh, about that guy. Uh, Let me alone now. I'm busy praying for you. Thanks. Prayers, my boy? Yes, Father. Father, I'd like to go to confession. All right, Richard. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned in a long time. Now, Richard. Do you believe in God? I do, Father. And in his only Son, our Lord, forgiveness of sin, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. I do, Father. Have you ever taken the name of God in vain? I have. Committed robbery or adultery? No, never, never, Father, never. Procured, desired, or hastened the death of anyone? I have, Father. But I, 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 
didn't mean it. Honest. I didn't mean it. It was an accident, so help me. So help me, it was an accident. God is merciful, Richard, to those who have faith. Say a good act of contrition. Oh, my God. I am heartily sorry for having offended thee. And I detest all my sins because I dread the loss of heaven and the pains of hell. Most of all, because they offended thee, my God, who art all good and deserving of all my love, I firmly resolve with the help of thy grace to confess my sin, to do penance, to amend my life. Yes, John? He had trouble with him, huh? It seems to me he's very brave. He has faith. I wish you'd let me talk to you about God and about faith. <laughs> me? You'd be wasting your time. Maybe I ain't had much education, but I know this. John Mears has got to see it in black and white. I ain't talking myself into nothing. Oh, Connors, I can't get you out. What are you asking me to do? Believe in another world? What kind of world is this that you believe in? Have you ever seen it? Has anybody ever seen it? The human soul can't be seen or touched with our hands. Yet it exists. The Lord's love and mercy is about us always. You have to have faith in the Lord, John. Faith? I got two lousy weeks left, and you're asking me to have faith? <laughs> you're fatigued, John. You should get some sleep. I don't need sleep. But you haven't slept for nights. You need it. I don't need it. I don't need nothing, O'Connors. Don't you think that I... that I'd want to be brave and have faith and be peaceful when I walk through that lousy door, huh? Instead of hearing my knees bang together like other guys that I've seen go? Sure. Look, I, I can't see that other kid in there, right? But I know what he's looking like. He's scared stiff. He's so scared he could vomit. Sorry for you to talk the way you're talking because you're outside there. You're not inside waiting. You're not afraid. You're not afraid! I would have no fear, John. I would have no fear, John. I'm certain that I wouldn't. I'll pray for you, John.
Mr. Mayors. Yeah, kid. I, uh, I got a pain over my heart. Hope I can last. You'll last. You'll last, kid. What time is it? You got lots of time. I know I'm gonna get that stain. I just know I won't. I know I won't. Let's get his last message. Sure. The rules. All right. What do you want to say? Tell my mom. I love her very much. You love her very much. And I'm sorry. And you're sorry. You want me to send it a singing telegram? for the chance I'm handing you? What about it, Kirby? All right, Mears. I'm in with you. Hey, Mears. Yeah? What about Werner? Come on, Ed. Hi, Eddie. Come on. Come on, Werner. Get out of there. Look, you can fool the sacks, but you don't fool me. We need every man we can get. Oh. You are nuts. Hey, he's not he's a fruit. Leave him in there. How are you gonna handle this? Now listen, Mears, you take I my I don't want to spend a minute arguing with anybody, buddy. Okay. All right. Now listen, get a stool out of each of ourselves. We gotta get over to the garden. I don't need any more than that. Jeez, you'll kill when I tell you to. Now we gotta take him alive. Right, now move.
It's almost time for Walters. Just once more. Put him down, kid. Let's go. Yes? We've located the shooting. It's the death house. The trouble is there. Nobody answers. Who's in the death house? Petty, Harris, O'Flaherty, Drake. Follow Connors and Callahan. Callahan hasn't come out? Are you sure? Yes, sir. I can see the entrance from here. All right, all of you. Put down those guns. Put down those guns. You'll never get away with it. Shut up, Callahan. Mears, give me that gun. Well, don't you look cute. Give me that gun, Mears. Freddy, Rodriguez, sell two. I'll right. have you in a straight jacket in an hour. Kirby, sell eight. Blast anybody that comes across the yard. I'll right. have the hose on you, too. Walters, get the axe out of the guardroom and cut the bars out of five. Little boy, check on some more ammo. John, do you know what you're doing? I ask you to think. Think? I don't have to think. I have faith. Hello, Death House. Hello. Hello. Waters, get working on those bars. This is it, man. No more, get in with Kirby there. Is that you, Pat? This is Mears. John Mears. Cell three. Now get this and get this straight. We got your brother-in-law, Callahan, and all those other screws. We got guns and plenty of ammo. Well, this is what I want. I want a car and I want a lot of gas in it. When we come walking across that courtyard so you won't get any cute ideas, Warden, we're gonna have your brother-in-law and O'Connor's with us. You understand what I mean? You'll get nothing of the kind, Mears. Then I'll change your mind. Rodriguez? Kirby! Get that skunk Drake out here. No! 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 Why, Drake? No! Out! No! No! Warren! No! 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 Mears. Mears. Don't let him push me around, Mears. I I'm with you. You let me talk to the warden, and I'll get you the car, and I'll go with you. I'll, I'll go. I'll go. No, Mears. I'm not, I'm not that fat guy, Mears. Mears. No, 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 no. Mears! John, you can't do that. Man, no, no, no. Mears, did you kill Drake? Look out your window, Warden.
every available man out. Shoot only at the points the cons are firing from. We don't know what cells our men are in. I want every guard out of there safe. And those cons in solitary are dead. Get going. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. See a thing, can you? Not a thing. Kind of quiet out there. I wonder what's happening. I'll call the warden and ask him. Wish I knew what they were up to. Mears, what do you think? We'll know soon enough. In the meantime, we don't waste no more lead, you understand? How much we got? We got enough, kid. Some guys in the yard. Hey, Kirby! DMR Frey! They're carrying something. They don't look like rifles. You're right, they're gas guns. Fire on those guys! Should be close enough to shoot him in here. Stay here, Walters. Give me that. Warden, this is John Mears. Now I got a Tommy gun pointed at all your friends in South Three and Four. I'm going to give you just ten seconds to stop those guys with the gas guns, or you can kiss all your friends and hear goodbye. Start counting.
Hey, Mears. They're going back. Wallet. Get over and check. Rodriguez, too. Warden, what about that car? I can't give it to you, Mears. Flood this! I'm staying right here. I'm not getting out of here, Mills. You take, you take a flight. He's, a, he's an old man. I'm a young man. Mills. Mills. I got a wife and kids, Mills. You take a flight. He's an old man. Yes, Mills. He's, he's right. I'm an old man. Go on, get out of there. Go on, go on, move! Thanks, Nick. Thanks, Nick. Put some more men here and, and double the guard here. They may try a break for the gate, try to shoot their way out. Tell the guards to watch the death house door very carefully. John, you're, you're not going to kill me, are you? You know, we mean business in here, don't you, O'Flaherty? Yes, I do. Now, it makes no difference to none of us whether we get it behind that little green door or we get it with a bullet in the head. We got nothing to lose. It'd feel nice to get out of here alive, wouldn't it, O'Flaherty? Yes, it would. Those other screws would like it, too. Well, I'm gonna let you talk to the warden, and he better listen good to you, buddy. You tell him that if he doesn't do what I told him to, that I'm gonna kill everybody in this joint. I'm gonna kill Harris. I'm gonna kill his brother-in-law, Callahan. And I'm gonna kill O'Connors. The priest. The priest. Tell him he's got 10 minutes, Callahan gets it first. He's got 10 minutes and Callahan gets it first. You hear me? Yes, I, I remember every blessed word you said. You I, better remember. I thank you, John. All right. John, All right. I'll Shut never up. forget you. Shut up. Do you more? Come here. Here, you and Walters get this screw out into the yard. Come on. I open the door, you shove them up, right? He's okay. Here, take that. Keep your eyes open. Right. Okay, Miss. You're more getting two. Give me the key, Walters. Here. Yeah. You didn't mean what you said about killing the priest, did you? I meant it about everybody. Not getting five, Walters. Feel to be sweating out the last seven minutes of your stinking life. At eleven fifteen. 
I'm going to split your skull with some hot lead. But, Warden, these men mean business. I know they do, but I can't give in to their demands. But, Warden, you've got to do something. There's three men left, three live men. There's Harris, there's your brother-in-law. There's Father O'Connors. Our own guns killed Petty. They killed Drake in cold blood, and they surely do the same to the rest of them. Give them the car. Give them anything they want. We'll get them afterwards. Don't you think I'd give them ten cars if I could? You think I want to throw away the lives of those men? Callahan, he's my sister's husband. But I can't do it. It isn't just this escape. We might get him back. But think what it would mean. The news would spread everywhere, to every prison in the country. The cons made a warden let them go. Then everybody would be in danger because of me and my brother-in-law and the other two men. Yes? How about it, warden? Callahan has five minutes. I can't do it, Mayor. In five minutes, your brother-in-law is going to die. Doesn't that mean anything to you, warden? Yeah, it means a lot to me. But it doesn't change anything. Then I'm going to let you say goodbye to him. Talk for your life. You can't go on like this, John. You can't go on taking human lives. The warden can only do what the state demands. Shut up! Stan. Do as he says. Give them what they want. Anything. Stan, get me out of here. He's going to kill me. I can't do it, Pat. These men aren't out to, 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 to blow up the world. They just want to get away. To live. That's all, Stan. Stan, you can't let me go like this. It's, it's murder. For Rosa's sake. For the children. He cut me off. He cut me off. He had to. He can't help you. This is duty. Duty? Who cares about duty when it means our lives? You just ran out of time, Callahan. Mears, listen to me. What do you want for your last supper? I didn't put you here. No appetite? Your gut couldn't type? I was only doing my job. Or would you like to send a few words to your family? Maybe you'd like to make it a singing telegram. I don't make the laws, Mears. I sentence you to death. No. No, Mears. Don't you want to hear the death warrant? I've got to read the death warrant. No. No, it's the rules. Shoot! For God's sake, what are you waiting for? Get him in the sex. Come on, quick, you more. I got him. All right, Joe. Let's try rifle grenades, quickly. Yes, sir. Looks like we played our ace. What next, Mears? Next, the priest. Shoot a priest. Get O'Connor's out here! Warden, your brother-in-law is cold as us. O'Connor's gets it next in two minutes, unless you give me that car. You got two minutes before a priest of God gets it. You know what the papers will say, Warden? 
They say, why didn't you let him go? And if he goes, you're ruined, you know that. Now you've got two minutes, and O'Connor's goes. Well, O'Connor's, ain't you afraid? Oh, that's right, that's right, you ain't afraid. You got another world to go to. Up in heaven or someplace like that, huh? That's right, you ain't afraid. You got faith. Or maybe you'd like to beg for your life on the little box, huh? I'm not afraid to die. And I won't ask the warden to do what he can't do, what he mustn't do. Warden, how about it? We've got to get him to a doctor. Give up. Nobody's given up! Don't... Don't let him get me to a doctor and patch me up so they can kill me. Can't stand that waiting again. Waiting. Waiting. We can't, we can't go through it again. John. Yeah, kid.
We're almost out of ammunition. Maybe we ought to give up. They can't give us more than the chair. And there'll have to be an investigation. That means time. Plenty of time. Well, what do you say? Miz is right. We're through. We're finished. Look around you. We gotta give up. You guys do what you want. I'm gonna get me some fresh air. 